Good morning, guys. I thought I'd vlog today. Yeah, what day is it? Tuesday. Um, my brother's coming. Oh, bear with. I don't know where I was. What was I saying? Oh, my brother's coming round. Um, he's calling in quickly and we're going to have a fry up. I've been out for a run this morning. I've started running again and I'm so proud of myself. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I haven't been that far. I did a mile Saturday, mile and a half Sunday and a mile and a half today, which is Tuesday. So yeah, I'm quite chuffed and my goal is five miles. So um, fingers crossed I can achieve that. And then when I've achieved five, obviously I'll go on to like 10 and blah de blah if I still enjoy it. Oh, and I've just found out that I am going to Ibiza again this year. So I've got a tone up for that because everyone in Ibiza has just got like the best bodies and I'm sat by the pool like a whale. What is this? So that's what I've been doing this morning. It's about 10 o'clock and I really want to sort my wardrobe out today. So I thought that would be entertaining to watch maybe. Who knows? Right, so this is my office. This is what I'm dealing with. It's an absolute shit tip. We've got spare quilts, electricals, tons of clothing. Just, ugh, it's driving me mad and I can't actually do any work it's just boggling my mind so this is my wardrobe um well one of them you will have seen in my other videos or maybe in the background of that clip I just showed actually I've got the big glass fronted doors from Ikea um I think it's the Malm wardrobe or something I'm not sure it's the one where you can like kind of design your own inside so that kind of houses my pajamas, jogging bottoms, t-shirts, hoodies and the occasional like special occasion dress like um, things that I've worn to weddings and stuff like that so I went through that the other day so it's not overly exciting so I'm not going to go through that today um, and I chucked a load out, I took a load to charity. I don't think I said I'm going to sort it into piles of chucking in the bin because it's just too disgusting to even give to anyone. Um, Charity Shop, Depop and Keep. So I need to separate into four piles. I always give it to the dog charity shop if every, anyone wants to know because I always support my local dog charity and um, yeah that is that. So basically I'm just going to delve in, pull out all the old shit that I don't wear and either sell it or give it to somebody that will wear it. So let's get cracking. This time last year, I was kind of working with a 30 piece like capsule. Everything matched, everything went together. It was really easy to pick an outfit. I didn't have to worry about what I was gonna wear that day. Everything just, it mixed and matched really well. And now it just looks like a bombs hit it. I've got colors everywhere, all different patterns, nothing goes. Um, I've got 10 ton of trousers, some of them which I never even touch. A fucking star jumpsuit, like who do I think I am? David Bowie. I don't think I will ever wear that again. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love it, but I just don't think it's my style anymore. This is just, it's become a total mess. We've got scarves down here, but I only ever wear like a couple of scarves. We've got boots coming out of our ears, Christmas decorations <laughs> down here. A bloody balance bike, which Paul got given for free and we don't even have a young enough child to uh, ride it. Christmas presents that we still haven't given to people, that's so bad. And 10 ton of heels, which I cannot walk in. So yeah, it needs going through. First of all, get rid of the bloody flowers that have been kicking around since Christmas. And the bike that we don't have a child for. <laughs> We keep so much shit, it's ridiculous. So I don't know how to start this. I'm gonna pull out what I don't wear, so. I love them, but I've got loads similar, so I don't think I'm gonna get the wear. I mean, I've worn them a couple of times, so they're still in good condition and they're super comfy, but I've got so many black trousers um, in here and in my other wardrobe, and I'm wearing some that are so similar to this, so I'm gonna probably depop those. Grey jeans, are grey jeans even a thing? These always fall down on me. These are ASOS Ridley jeans, I've had them for bloody ages and they're so nice, but they just, I find that they fall down really easily. So I'm gonna get rid of those. I mean, they're still in really good condition. I might depop them. I will link my depop in the description box as well if you do wanna check out anything that I'm throwing away. I'm not charging the earth for anything, so grab a bargain. Oh, my old Topshop jeans. You know those jeans that are so comfy and you just don't want to get rid of them because they're like your slobbing about jeans. I think I might keep them. 
black trousers, black trousers, black leggings, <laughs> a skirt with a label on still from New Look, which I got in the sale. Can you see me in a denim skirt? I don't know. I think it'll look cute with some like vans or something in the summer. I'm going to hang on to that just because I don't know yet. I don't even know if it fits me to be fair, probably not. Leather skirt, I don't think I'll ever wear it. Let's be honest, when do I ever go out? And when will I ever wear a leather skirt? I think somebody will have a better use of this than I do, so that's going on Depop. <laughs> Why did I start this? It's so nice and slouchy, I'm gonna keep that. I'm sorry if this is really boring. I just thought, I love watching wardrobe clear out, so I thought I'd film one. Um, I've only just bought that, so I'll keep that. I'm not sure about the David Bowie jumpsuit. Is it quite cool? I remember wearing it and it going like right up my vag, so I don't know whether I'm going to try this one on and if it looks shit, I will get rid of it, but I kind of love it. As gaudy and as horrible as it is, I really like it. Sorry, I've had to stop halfway through because my brother turned up. He's just gone, so I'm going to carry on and yeah, I feel really lethargic now and I really can't be bothered to do this, but we're going to do it. I'm going to speed through it a bit more, so I've got a jumpsuit that I bought in Ibiza last year, which I love, so I'm going to keep that. Another, like, dungaree kind of thing. A dress, which I don't know whether I'm going to wear. And then I've got a ten ton of shirts. I don't need them all. That one's got, like, an open back, but I never wear it, so that one is going on Depop. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine, it's really loud. Pink denim shirt. I don't think I've worn it since... I got it, really like it, but I just don't wear it. Black shirt, I don't know. I feel like it'd be nice in the summer. The trouble is I have all these summer clothes, but you can never actually wear them in the UK because even in the summer it's bloody cold, so and I might need a black shirt one day. See, I'm talking myself into keeping things. <laughs> Spotty shirt, get rid of it. I do like that, but it makes me look like nine months pregnant so i don't know it's got like a peplum i might just retire it to my other wardrobe it's too small so i'm gonna sell that tits just look colossal in it never a good look i love this but i feel like with my skin tone it's just not great i don't know about that i feel like you can never have enough like cami dressy tops i don't know we'll revisit that this one i love but my boobs kind of stick out a bit i'm gonna get rid of that Oh, I love this. I've got some new in pieces actually. These are from Shein and this is creased to death because I haven't ironed it, but it's just this yellow top. I wore it in my last video, I think. It says, I'm a happy-go-lucky ray of fucking sunshine, which just isn't me at all. Another new thing I've got from Shein is a Madonna t-shirt. How cool is this? Like a virgin. The quality of this is amazing. It's so thick. Oh, and this one as well really like this it reminds me of like an old film i don't know whether it is a film it's kisses for revenge i just really like the logo of the woman and in her sunglasses you can see two people kissing don't know i love my t-shirts so on this side it's all my jumpers cardigans i feel like this is the side where it needs to be sorted the most i don't wear that i've worn it once it's from asos and it's going on my depop it's just a bright orange I follow Poppy Days and I I still love her, like I love her blog, it's just so visually stunning. And she had this so I bought it but it suits her more than it suits me so get rid of that. Not a fan. Get rid of that one. I think we're doing well. Are we doing well? Oh, see I put things in here and I forget that I've got them. It's like a sports sweatshirt, I love it. It just says Alabama on the front. And then it's got all like the dates on the back. I need to wear that more because I really like that. And then I need to put all my hoodies in my other wardrobe. So I've just got a camel one, um, some grey ones, a black one, a white one. <laughs> I'm such a hoarder. It's really hard and itchy. I don't want that. <laughs> None of this has hardly been worn. I'm so bad. If I haven't worn it in like the last few months, I'm getting rid of it. Come on, Kate, be ruthless. Grey crop. I've seen better days. Toodle pip. I found this green suede top and I can't make my mind up on it. It's like a varsity kind of jacket, but it's like this fake suede. I don't know. 
I mean, it looks quite nice with my hair colour, but I don't know. I might hang on to it and see. I feel like you never have enough jackets. I'm such a bloody hoarder. So it might look like I haven't really made much damage and it's still all quite colourful and messy. But I have, I've got rid of like all of this. So there's a huge pile there. And that's all going on Depop. I haven't got anything for charity yet, but I'm sure something from the bottom can go to charity as well as all that in there. That's all for charity. So, right. So now I don't know whether to do this in um, colour coordination or jeans to jacket i think i'm gonna go for color actually give it a bit of a switch up so i'm gonna pull everything out of here and put it into color groups i think Okay, so I've colour coordinated so far. I've got that much room left and a yellow t-shirt, which doesn't fit in anywhere. So I'm probably gonna pop the yellow t-shirt in my other wardrobe and fold it up. So I've got blacks, blues, khakis, greens, like beiges, whites, greys, reds and pinks. This is annoying me because it doesn't sit in any of the colour palettes. So I might actually take that out just because it'll bother me yeah i've got a couple of new pieces i've added in the first one is this beaut from boohoo which i'm actually styling on my blog within the next few weeks so it's just a midi dress and i absolutely love it it's in the sale it's like 12 pounds so a bargain so yeah i can't wait to style that up so i've just popped it in there to remind me and i've got a few bits in my other room that i need to bring in and pop in so i've got my puma hoodie if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen me in this i'm just living in it. Um, in JD Sports, it was like 32 quid is the hoodie, and it was like 16 pound in TK Maxx. So I'm adding that into my um, capsule. Where's the black gold? And then I got a Puma T-shirt. Well, I love this. What I think I've still got the tag on it. It's only 9.99. It's just a real oversized crop T-shirt with the uh, it's like a rose gold Puma on it. Just think chucked on with some gym leggings would be perfect. I haven't got any wooden coat hangers left and it's really annoying me. I will have to go on a black felt one. Does anyone else hate these? They just like grab onto the clothes, they're vile. I guess that's kind of the purpose, but I just don't like how clothes sit on them. I need to go somewhere like Poundland and get a load of new hangers. And then I've got a new balance one, which I love, and it says weekends are for running. I definitely needed this after starting running this week. I just got the New Balance logo on the back. I used to have a pair of New Balance shoes. I don't know what I did with them. I can't remember whether I sold them or I've lost them. I no longer have them and I really want a new pair. So that'll be going in as well. It's like a grey colour but then in the light it kind of goes like a real light lilac. It looks like something Brandy Melville would do as well so I love that. Now is the task of shoes and I hate this job. I'm such a shoe hoarder. I always think, oh yeah, I'll wear it, but I never do. Just bring you down here. You can see that I actually have no room for my boots. My guitar has fallen off the wall, which I'm annoyed about. I've got hats everywhere, scarves everywhere, like walking boots, winter boots, heels. It just hasn't got an order and I'm sick of it. I need to get rid of some stuff. So that is the next job. So I'm moving on to the shoes now. I've got the sun blaring in my eyes, the light in my eyes. So if I'm a bit squinty, that is why. So shoes are on the bottom shelf. I need to take them all off and polish it because it's just ugh, minging. I need to try get these hangers first. The only thing about colour coordinating is you've got longer bits like in the middle of the wardrobe, which is annoying. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably get sick and tired of it, but onto the shoes. I need to stop procrastinating. I've got over the knee boots that I've worn for a blog shoot once. So they are going for a start. Depop, they're all yours. God, there is so much dust on everything. It's disgusting. I love these. I got them from New Look. Um, when I first started working there, actually, so it's probably like three years ago now. And they're like heeled espadrilles. I love these so much. I can't part with them because they're comfy. They're perfect for like um, on a night out if you want to still be a little bit summery. So I'm keeping those. Plus, I'll probably take them to Ibiza as well. So love those. I don't know, they're not really me anymore. I might charity shop them. My babies, my Doc Martin Liza sandals. I love these so much. 
brand new bear pair of Birkenstocks. I've got gold and rose gold that I got for my birthday last year, but I didn't get that much wear out of them because obviously it's like in August, so I've only got September's wear out of them. So I can't wait to wear them more this year. And I've got the rose gold ones as well. And I've got the black somewhere. Uh, so I wear them to death. I don't wear anything else in the summer. I see all these really nice sandals in shops and stuff, but I just cannot warrant buying them because all I live in is Birkenstocks. Leather vans. What do I do with them? The lighting is pissing me off. I never wear them. They're really heavy. They're really cold. I know people are a bit funny about buying shoes, so I'd rather just keep them, I think than sell them to somebody that wants them for like a pound. That's one thing that really fucks me off about Depop is people are like, you're selling it for like £10 and they're like, oh, can I have it for like £3 with free postage? No, you fucking cannot. Are you taking the piss? It's like a £50 pair of shoes. Right, heels. So I've worn these once. They're covered in dust. They've got so much more wear in them, so I might clean them up and sell these. They're only new look ones, but I think they go to a better home than with me because they've been sat there for god knows how long as well as these green ones the only thing is with the oh, I'm sorry for all this dust, it's minging do you mind? I'm really reluctant to get rid of these because I feel like they go real nice with a pair of uh, mum jeans but also I've got really gammy feet and they're like crow's feet so they just anything open toe my feet look minging so I'll say goodbye to them. I wore these for my brother's wedding, so I don't want to get rid of them. They're like these rose gold boots, and they're real thick heels, so they're quite smart. Um, I'm going to hang on to them. Converse high tops, I ought to wear them more, but I just don't. I don't know why. I think it's because they're really cold. I might wear them to work tomorrow, actually. I love how they look on other people, but I just feel they make my ankles look really fat. <laughs> Such a shit excuse for not wearing something. Right, I'm going to wear them. I'm going to keep them out. My beloved pink Adidas Gazelles. I can't get rid of them. I just can't. I mean, they're a little bit too small for me and they're so grimy. But Converse low tops. Can't get rid of them. They're battered inside. They're like ripped. Don't know if you can see that. Ripped to shit on the inside. But I like walking the dogs in them in the summer, so keep them. This is taking forever. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, but can you see the dust on here? I am such a dirty bitch. I need to polish more. So this is my pile for Depop, which oh, I really don't want to do. And it probably won't be on there. By the time you watch this video, I'm going to do it this weekend. So I've got a few pairs of shoes there for the charity shop. The wardrobe is looking so much neater. I've sorted all my shoes out at the bottom. I just need to do the rest of my room, really. It just looks like a shit tip, so I'm going to do that now. Pray for me. Right, so we've got the biggest bag for Depop here and Betty. You okay? You sending yourself? Um, and then everything out there is charity shop. I'm so attractive, look at me. Woohoo! This is what a day at home with me looks like. Such a slob. Okay, so I think it looks a bit neater. You can be the judge of that. Yes, like I said, I've got blacks going all the way through to reds. Oh shit, I haven't taken this jumper out. It looks awful in there. As much as I love you, jumper, you are going in the other wardrobe. So yeah, I think it looks quite nice. Other than the longer bits that are hanging, um, they annoy me, but never mind. I can't like tuck them up or anything because it make them really creased. I need to still put my guitar up on the wall because I don't like it down there. It looks messy, but I've got rid of a fair few shoes. I'm really happy with that because they were just sitting here collecting dust and I wasn't wearing them. So really pleased about that. I'm really out of breath. I need to get a few more wooden hangers, but that is how it's looking. And I'm really happy with the color palette. As you can tell, I wear like earthy tones and black more than reds I've only got like a few reds and pinks that is my wardrobe clear out <sighs> that is it I am done with wardrobe clear out and I'm really happy with how it looks it doesn't translate onto camera very well oh, I feel like it looks better in the flesh so I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed it I don't want it to be too long and boring so I'm gonna go I'm gonna put a few of these things on Depop if the stuff isn't up on Depop then <sighs> what is this <laughs> if the stuff isn't up on Depop, I will um, get it up within the next couple of weeks and I will put on the like YouTube community thing where you can see like my uploads and stuff. I will write that it is now live on my Depop. But my Depop, if you do want to know, there is some stuff on it already. 
um, it's this is what I do it's my old like YouTube handle so yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys let me know if you want anything else like this like an office sort out or anything else like to do with the home and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>